Hey, hey people, what's up? It's Jamil. And I just want to let people know, beating gang stalking isn't about just rushing through gang stalking. It's beating gang stalking right away. Beating gang stalking is about absorbing the process of gang stalking, becoming the person you want to be, becoming more driven. Before gang stalking started, I didn't have that winning personality. I didn't have that drive to go out there and deal with the corporations. I deal with hundreds of people every day. I wave at cars. I talk to people. When the headlights come, I say, that's a gang stalker. That's somebody I'm going to connect with right now. You know, I give them a flyer. <clears throat> they, they stop. I want to be able to give them a business card. I want to let them know who I am and that I'm the only person in the world that beat gang stalking. But I don't want to be able to continue to say that. I want to just say I'm the first person in the world that beat gang stalking. And there's a long line of other people who beat it. I trained them. I taught them how to beat it. I helped them explore more of themselves. You know, if you want to shine like a diamond, you got to be willing to get cut like a diamond. And that's what I'm all about. Use this gang stalking program to improve your life 110%. Have that drive. When I go out there and I'm talking to females, when I'm talking to women, I can only afford to be around the best of the best. Last night I was talking to, you know, a beautiful girl. I had to tell her up front who I am, what I do. I, I went through gang stalking, beat that only person in the world to beat it. I went through 10 years of hardcore conspiracy research, attracted the attention of the most powerful people in the world, beat a life-death circumstance. If she accepts that, I know she's a winner, and I got a, I, that's the dream team right there. I got somebody from the winning circle around me. You see what I'm saying? It's about using this program no matter what to keep the ball rolling in your life to do what you want to do. I have to be able to go out into the corporate world and talk to CEOs. I have to tell them, I'm the person who's going to be able to help your corporation. When somebody's getting gang stalked in your corporation for making the right choice, I'm the person, when the chips are down, who's going to put things in balance. I will not let gang stalking take over your multi-million dollar corporation. I'm the person who's going to keep it out of your corporation, out of your company, no matter what. I'm going to be there on the front lines in the corporate office answering the phone, telling people what to do when they're being followed. I'm on the street going to Starbucks with them, helping them get their coffee. <clears throat> Call me. If you live in New York, Manhattan, or whatever, I'll take a plane. The airport's right next to my house. I live in Norton Shores, Michigan, United States of America. If you're, a pregnant, if you're a pregnant female who's working at McDonald's and you need help and you're in my area, or you live in Texas somewhere <clears throat> and you need me to come down there and help you beat gang stalking, I'm going to beat it for you. I know what it's like to be vulnerable. I hid in my mother's house for a month. I know what it's like. I thought I thought I was I thought it was a life death situation. <clears throat> I, I I I faced death. I achieved. You know, I'm the only person who ever did it and got away with it. I beat the odds. You know, I'm a winner. You know, <clears throat> I beat gang stalking, only person in the world ever did it, Jamil Rawls. And we're gonna lay it down so thick this summer, they're not gonna know what to do. When you're with Jamil Rawls, they're gonna say, This guy, this woman. Beat gang stalking forever. Take their name out of the books. I don't want them to take my name out of the books. When I got cars following me and I see those headlights, that's the best moment of my life. I'm in my glory 110% no matter what. No matter what. Like I said, they put a series of beautiful blondes on the street. These girls look like models. Some of them even look better than Paris Hilton. I always had a crush on Paris Hilton. <clears throat> Some of these girls even look better than Paris Hilton. They're making me be a winner no matter what. I'm going to give that my 110%. The psychological goal of that is for me to get rejected so it will somehow jeopardize my level of success. That's how, that's how hard I lay it down. They got to do stuff like that. It used to be cars on the corner, me scared to come out. Now it's top, now, it, now, now, it's, now it's models, gorgeous models following me around looking at me. That's how you beat the program, no matter what. And <clears throat> I'm telling you this, if you're not willing to get cut like a diamond, you can't shine like a diamond. Everything in my life is solid right now. I got that foundation. Like I said, you know, like I said, I'm not new to it. I'm true to it. Went through a year of it, you know, and, and if you're somebody who is a gang stalker, I can make you a better gang stalker. No matter what, you'll be the best in the world. This is something you, if you, this is, if, if you're sitting there and, and you're in an office somewhere, you, you're, you, you, you work in FBI, you work in the Central Intelligence Agency, you're a police officer, you're a firefighter. You're in the armed services. You cannot afford to not know how to beat gang stalking. You have to have the skill. You have to have that leading edge. You have to say, I met that guy, Jamil Rawls, the only person in the world that beat gang stalking, and I know how to beat I know how to beat it. So if it ever happens to me or one of my loved ones or somebody I'm close to, I know how to get through it. No matter what. 
And so I just want to lay it, I just want to continue to lay down that foundation for you. And I'm out here laying it down for you every single day of the week. So you know when you call me, it's going to go down. I'm going to have that leading edge. I'm going to be one step further, one step further, 100, 121%. You know, we're, we're going to have that one step further thing. And, and we need to lay it down worldwide. If you're in the United Nations and, and, and are you, 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 you're in Moscow, Russia, wherever you are, you cannot afford to not know how to beat gang stalking, okay? And so this happens to celebrities in Hollywood. This happens to old homeless Vietnam veterans who, who people think they're crazy. It can happen to anybody. But I'm telling you, telling you, if you get a hold of me, Jamil Rawls versus gang stalking at Gmail, if you get a hold of me, you'll thank me, okay? They'll thank me. And this, this is something. This is something that you can always use in your life. It's going to help you be stronger. I even recommend the gang stalking program. Remember that movie called The Game with Michael Douglas? If you haven't seen that movie, go get the movie. That's exactly how gang stalking works. He went to a corporation. They signed up for the game. It was gang stalking. Now the movie version is actually diff different than the real life. I lived the real life version. And, and, and the glory that at the end of it was even better than it was in the movie when the movie ended. And he had that rooftop party. My party was ten times better. And so I'm here to tell you today that you can get through this. You can do it. You can get through this program. It's going to make you better no matter what. I even rec I'm telling you, I recommend the program to people who don't know what gang stalking is. If it does happen to you, it's the best thing that's ever going to happen to you. Okay? So, so, so just know right now... You can email me, Jamil Rawls versus Gangstocking at Gmail. Right. Hey people, what's up? It's Jamil. The only person in the world to ever be Gangstocking. We're out here. We're in North Shore of Michigan, United States of America. Just keeping the ball rolling. There's a lot of cars coming with headlights on. Now, my main goal is to connect to the people in the car to let them know if they want to be a better gang stalker, 110%. No matter what, I can teach them about that. You know, if they're trying to get out of gang stalking, they got an issue, they're trying to beat gang stalking themselves, or they got a drug issue, a depression issue, no matter what. You know what I mean? We're going to keep the ball rolling on that. Um, one more thing is, is uh, see, the thing about the headlights, is I guess the headlights are designed like the whole idea of constructing that frame of the program and gang stalking is the illumination of it is supposed to throw you off for some reason. I don't know, you know, I'm famous, I'm a star, you know. If I see lights coming, it reminds me of, you know, bright stars shining and stuff, you know, gives me some extra inspiration, some more stuff. Like I said, you know, I'm not new to it, I'm true to it. The only person in the world ever be gang stalking, no matter what. That's on record now, you know, so we're just gonna keep it. We're just going to keep it moving, no matter what. I just want to put this out there. All right. Hey, people. What's going on? It's Jamil. I just want to highlight a few concepts. If you're going through the adventure of gang stalking right now and you feel you can't beat it, I'm the only person in the world that beat it 110%, kept the ball rolling, and now I'm going to show you how to beat it. If you contact me right now, you could actually be the second person in the world to beat it. One of the things I do is I just keep the ball rolling no matter what. I was at a hotel in Phoenix. I took two weeks out from Michigan, went to Phoenix to collect some thoughts. The hotel I was staying at, I stayed at two, one downtown and one in Glendale, the suburbs of Phoenix. The second one was very interesting. They did all kinds of things. They put certain people working at the front desk. Uh, they, <clears throat> when I went to my room clean, they, they had a thing going where they'd say I was not on the list. And this was supposed to be a thing of intimidation to try to break me. No matter what, it made me 110% better. I went to the woman who was running the show, asked her for the cleaning supplies, asked her for the broom, the dustpan, everything. I started doing it myself. The people who were running that uh, area program, the gang stock, and they immediately backed away, put everything back to normal. Let me have my room uh, cleaning service back. You know, I don't know why. Um, I don't know why <laughs> they weren't able to agitate me. I just know that I wouldn't allow them to do it. You see what I'm saying? There's certain things that can agitate somebody, but for some reason I was so driven it just never went through. I just stayed motivated 110% no matter what, and that's what I want you to do. <laughs> if you're in a situation where you feel you can't get out of it, if you feel like you're under extreme pressure and, and you don't know what to do, just take a deep breath, breathe, be calm, and think about what you want to do in that moment. 
Think about what you really want to do and spend the rest of your day going after it. For some people, being followed is a heavy thing. When I was in Phoenix for those two weeks, I got followed constantly. I got followed by people on foot. I got followed by cars. I got followed by bicycles. You know, no matter what, I stayed confident in myself. And 99.9% .9 of those people around me looked, looked 50, at least 50% less confident than me. At that point, they decided to drug my food. I didn't let that stop me. I still went out to a few restaurants. It happened. Sometimes they would put more of a heavy drug, a light drug. Sometimes they wouldn't do it at all. I just kept motivated. I stayed on it. I stayed fired up. I told myself, when I come back to Michigan, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that I maintain my spot as the only person in the world that beat gang stalking. I got back to Michigan. That's what happened. I stayed on fire. You know what I mean? Motivated. In, in, in the middle of trials and tribulations, I just wanted that opportunity. You know, when I talk to a female now, you know, I'm single and I'm dating females or whatever, I just tell them no matter what, hey, listen to this. This is what happened to me. You know, some of them can't handle it. Some of them will be like, that's too much for me, and some of them will embrace it. I need them to make that choice because I can't afford to have somebody weak around me. I got to have the best of the best. I got to have that circle of winners, that circle of leaders. If you're being gang stuck, you're going to have to cut people out of your life. You cannot afford to have people around you that are easily sell out, easily going to lose. You don't want that. You want the, you want the unbeatable people around you. Right now, if you're listening to me, if you're working in a corporation in Manhattan, Detroit, Chicago, or you work somewhere in my area, you're running a business, big business, small business, you know, you're going to want your employees to be able to count on you. What will you look like if you're able to sell out to the gang stalking program and include that as on, on your employees? <clears throat> you're going to want to be able to make the decision not to do that, and you're going to want to have the backbone to be able to beat gang stalking if it happens to you. If you're an employee in a corporation that's happening to you, I'll be there 24-7 no matter what. If you have the funding to pay for me to get there on airplane or bus or however we can do it, I'll be there 24-7. No matter how high, you up the how high up in the company you are, I'll hang out there. I'll ride it out with you at corporate headquarters. You know, if, if, you live, if you live in Texas somewhere and you work at McDonald's and you have the funding for, to get me down there to help you, I'll do it. I'm telling you, we'll beat gang stock at 110%. It's spiritual and psychological. I go through I go I go through perfecting and laying down that foundation every day. I talk to my gang stalkers. I give them my phone number. You know, I pass out flyers. Right now, I'm in the process of making business cards. Um, I, I don't I don't let any of this. You know, if you want to shine like a diamond, you have to be willing to get cut like a diamond, and that's most important. If you're not willing to be cut like a diamond, it won't work. You know, you you really you really 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 got to get it into your mind that this is going to change your life for for the better. It's going to make you be a better person. You're never, ever, ever going to have to worry about going back to your old life. You're just going to keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward. Too many people want to go back to the way things were before it started happening. That's over with. Get rid of that. It's all new. Everything's new. Every day is a new opportunity. So, you know, be the best of the best. Get your list. Get your name on that list of glory and, and you know, be the second person in the world to beat the gang stalking program. Make it happen. You can do it. Hey people, what's up? It's your mail. Okay, so if you're being gang stalked and you want to find a way to explain this to your friends and your family, count on me to come through for you on that. If you need me to talk to somebody for you and explain it to them, or you need me to, you know, be able to create something like a document or something to give to them, I can email it to you or mail it to you. You know, you can show your employers, you can explain to people. I, I can do that for you. Don't be, don't have it in your mind that you, you, there's something wrong with you. A lot of people have it in their mind there's something wrong with them. And, and, you know, that's what prevents a lot of people from actually beating gang stalking is they feel that there's something wrong with them. You know, there's greatness within you. There's no way in the world you will be able to, you, you were able to attract this circumstance by having greatness within you. It doesn't come to people who are weak. It comes to people who are strong that can beat it. And by, by focusing on, like, all the negativity, you know, by focusing on that you're a victim, that's going to prevent you from beating the program. I'm the only person in the world ever beat gang stalking, you know, and, and that's just, that's on record now. And I don't want to keep saying that. I want to be able to say I, I was the first person in the world to beat gang stalking, and now there's hundreds of people, thousands of people, a few million people who've beaten it, you know, and that's how we're going to do it. We're going to keep the ball rolling no matter what. My name is Jamil Rawls. I live in Norton Shores, Michigan, United States of America. Uh, part of my story of glory is I offended some secret societies, in the Hollywood area after doing many interviews on conspiracy research. Uh, I did that for about 10 years, and, you know, I was the only person to do it. Uh, you know, I did it and got away with it. You know, they set me up to take me out to kill me. I beat that. Then I beat 
uh, after a year of gang stalking, I beat gang stalking. And now what I want to do is just keep pushing that line, man. Keep showing people how they can beat it, no matter what, 110%. You know, matter of fact, scratch that 120%. You know, <clears throat> and, and what you have to do in this moment is get it through your mind that you're not a victim. Stay motivated. Keep looking for that opportunity. They, the gang stalking program, the reason why I was able to beat it, they didn't have more motivation than me. I had more drive. You know, I got up at three in the morning. They weren't up at three in the morning. They had they would put a few cars out, but they were most the majority of their people were asleep. I was out there running, doing push-ups, meditating, thinking how I was going to get through it, thinking how I was going to beat it. They tried every trick in the book. It never worked. It just wasn't me. I wouldn't allow my circumstance to keep me down. It's improved me 110 percent. Like I said, if you want to shine like a diamond, you have to be willing to get cut like a diamond. What I was able to do is I was able to lay down a foundation so thick, it was it was impenetrable. And that's what I want to help you do. I want to help you lay down that foundation. You're going to have to give yourself that circle of winners, that dream team, that winning opportunity. Uh, what, one thing I'm blessed about is I'm able to tell people my story no matter what right away. I just tell people what happened, <laughs> what happened to me. I just tell them, you know, like, my name is Jamil Rawls. And, and I, I, I'm going through something called gang stalking. This is the reason why it happened. And I tell you what, you will meet you will meet better people. If you're a guy, you'll meet better women. If you're a woman, you're, you'll meet better men. And just be strong, you know. Be solid. Keep that foundation laid, you know, and just keep it moving. You know, I, I go to all areas. You know what I mean? I go to all areas, talk to all different people. Um, a lot of people think it's fascinating. Like I remember <clears throat> I was talking to a young, beautiful chick. I just went, I just I just rolled up on her. She was there for me. She was there to agitate me, but she didn't really understand what was going on. She just knew she was being paid to do it. I just bam hit her with a flyer, explained to her what I was, what my you know who I was, what my name is, um, why I got in this circumstance. Gave her my phone number. I let her know you know I'm, I'm the only person in the world to ever beat gang stalking. Um, you know at some point you know hopefully we can get together, talk about this, do something together. You know pe people want that winning drive. You know, don't don't keep yourself don't don't feel like you're keeping yourself in the shadow or like keeping yourself hidden and you're worried about this and you're worried about that. Just keep giving that 110% no matter what. No matter what. 110% no matter what. 120%. You know? And and so that that's what I want you to keep in your mind right now. And <clears throat> for people who aren't being gang stalked, um, you can still benefit from this. You know, you can still benefit from learning from what it is. Also, you know, if you have a drug problem or an alcohol problem. Or you have a problem, and you you know you you have you have uh, relationship issues. Uh, you have a problem. You have anything, anger issues, whatever you have. You know, I'll show you how to give that 110 percent. You know, I, there's very few people that have been under the kind of pressure I've been under. You know, I came out of a situation where, you know, I was set up to be killed, beat that, got out of that, came into the gang stalking. I didn't know I was being gang stalked. I thought I was actually the same people. You know, I, I thought it was the same situation. I ended up having to hide in my mother's house for a month, for a month, you know, and, and then eventually I just accepted death came out there and never happened. I found out what was really going on. You know, I beat that no matter what. And so now we're just, we're just laying down a heavy foundation every day. I'm just out there in the street, just pumping people up 24 seven, giving it to them raw and uncut, raw and uncut. I can't afford to let a second go by that people don't know about it. As soon as, some, as soon I go outside and there's somebody walking down the street, I just hit them up no matter what. Hey, my name is Jamil Rawls, J-A-M-E-E-L-R-A-W-L-S. Google me. I'm famous. Google me. You know what I mean? This is my situation. This is what happened to me. You know, they're going to remember my face. They're going to remember my name. And they're going to listen to my story. <laughs> if I go down the street and I see somebody else, it's, it's a repeat. Hopefully, I can get into a further conversation with them. You know, it, some people know something about conspiracies. They want to talk a little bit about it. My main goal is to let them know what gang stalking is, is how, and how I beat it and that they can beat it, too. Uh, and this is a worldwide thing, you know. There's somebody in England. There's somebody in Germany. There's somebody in Japan. There's somebody in in, in, in Kenya, you know, over in, kind of in Africa somewhere. There's somebody in India. There's there's somebody in, in Latin America somewhere in Brazil. There's somebody out there who needs this information. There's people being born right now who want to tell the truth. They're going to want to grow up in a world where it's acceptable for them to tell the truth without having to worry about being gang stalked. You know, and we got to, you know, that's the whole goal of, of what I'm doing right now is to be able to lay that down, lay it down thick worldwide, you know, not just the city I live in, Norton Shores, Michigan, United States of America, but everywhere else, you know, New York City, uh, uh, Rome, Egypt, no matter where you are in the world, if you're being gang stalked, 
I'm the only person in the world that beat gang stalking, and you can benefit from that. Uh, whether you're a man, woman, you know, the age bracket really doesn't matter to me. Um, you know, rich, poor, you can be a homeless Vietnam veteran living in the back of an alley, and you're watching this video at the library, and you know, you, you email me, I'm going to email you back. If we can't get to each other, if I can't afford to get to you, then you can't afford to get to me. We'll just keep the communication going. I'll, I'll keep it. You know, I'll keep exchanging information. One thing I do is I don't like to get into that victim mentality where people constantly feel like they've been beat. And they've, you know, I'll ride it out with you to get you to the point where you can beat it. But if you're not willing to beat it 110%, no matter what, I don't know what I can do for you. So when you contact me, have that winner mentality. I know you're going to feel really defeated at first. That's why you're contacting me usually. But you know, have it in your mind that, that be open to beating it. You know. Get out of that pity party. Get out of that victim mentality. And you know, like I said, practice makes uh, per practice makes permanent, 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 permanent. And so that that's what we're out here to do is just to lay it down real thick and, and lay down that foundation. And like I, I keep saying, we keep the ball rolling. <clears throat> we want to go into it. You know, this is going to enter you into a new area of your life. It's going to beat. It's going to beat whatever else. This is beyond gang stalking. This, these are things in your life going on in the background that you want to accomplish, you want to get through, you want to process through, you might want to start a new company. I mean, people who are being gang stalked, you know, people out there have hopes and dreams. There's things they want to do. You know, you might want to, you might want to get married and have a family. You might want to run a corporation. I mean, you, you might want to be able to just have something as simple as, you know, go to the park and not feel intimidated to do it. You know, whatever's going on, we're going to get you to that level. And so just email me right now. You know, we can exchange phone numbers. Uh, we can go from there. Um, a lot of people feel that they can't trust anybody. That's all part of the mentality of, of, of losing. You know, when you, when you beat gang stalking, you're not worried about who you talk to. You know who you are. You know where you come from, and you know you're solid. You're not worried about anybody else's intention. Their intention is going to have no effect on you no matter what because you kept the ball rolling, you beat the program, and you're out here living your life. All right, so, you know, don't hesitate to contact me.